thanks for watching Aquarium Tech today. Today, uh, I just wanted to do a brief video on uh, basically aerobic and anaerobic bacteria. All right. Now, this is just going to be a general video. I know I haven't really put out any nitrogen cycle kind of uh, videos or anything like that. Uh, I probably need to start doing that because I do get a lot of questions on it. So, but for this video, I'm kind of doing this video because there's something I'm actually going to be doing uh, a full C4 review and uh, U4 coming up here. And I got a few other things coming up that I'm like. Hopefully it'll come in tomorrow. I'm like really excited about. So, anyways, uh, basically I'm just gonna do a, a general overview of what the two are, how they grow, and that kind of thing. So, anyways, we'll start with aerobic bacteria. All right, aerobic basically means with air. I mean, just oversimplify. It basically means with air, with oxygen, whatever. All right. Now, in fresh water, it's a lot easier to grow aerobic bacteria because fresh water has a lot higher abundancy of, <clears throat> of, uh, of oxygen and air in general. So, it's a lot easier to grow that. And that's the main stuff that, gr that grows in your filter. That's the stuff that turns ammonia into nitrite and turns nitrite into nitrate. That's your, you know, that that's your main bacteria, and even in salt water, it's generally the easiest to grow. But in salt water, it's a little bit easier to grow anaerobic bacteria because there's a little less oxygen slash air per se in the water. And basically, the, the aerobic bacteria is usually what people, you know, consider, you, you know, your main bacteria, your bio load, whatever you want to call it, uh, but it's you know it's pretty easy to grow it doesn't it usually doesn't take much to get what you need is consider you know as long as your tanks you know properly stocked and has a decent filter you know it's that that bacteria is pretty easy you know pretty easy to grow get away with so now on the other hand you have anaerobic bacteria now this bacteria grow likes to grow with as little flow as possible uh, with as little uh, contact with oxygen or air, so it's a little, it's a lot harder to grow in freshwater tanks than it is salt water. And in fact, uh, it's it can be pretty hard. And th now there's different types of it too. Like there's this company I think it's called Aquapure. They make these nitrate filters, and uh, basically it, it's a it's a different kind than that you would nat than you would naturally grow the natural kind of anaerobic bacteria you might grow in your aquarium but on the other hand you know it's there you know instead you feed it with like sugars and stuff like that uh, but as you'll see with even with those filters you'll have a very small flow you don't get a lot of flow through those alright like I, I mean we're talking 50 gallons an hour or less so I, well those might get a little more flow but I, I I'm not exactly sure. But anyways, that's the kind of stuff that, you know, if you're going to try to grow it in a freshwater tank, it's pr it might, well, if you don't have an under gravel filter, it'll probably grow in your gravel because there shouldn't be, there's probably not going to be a whole lot of flow going down there. And usually gravel does have somewhat of a porosity, but it's not as porous as, you know, Biomax would be because that's probably too porous. For anaerobic bacteria, anaerobic needs a little bit of porosity to grow, but if too much is going to make it too easy for oxygen to get in there and water flow to obviously bring new oxygen. That's that's why you got to keep your flow down, is because the flow is going to bring oxygen. So, and that and that, like I said, that stuff grows in the absence of oxygen. And what that bacteria does is it basically eats your nitrates and turns it into a non-toxic form for fish. So, really, to me, that stuff is like <clears throat> what you want to grow. It's the it's the it's probably the hardest thing to grow, and you know, obviously, in freshwater tanks, it's going to be the hardest to grow. But it's you know, it's kind of your goal. I mean, if you can grow that stuff, it's going to really make your uh, tank be a whole lot better for your fish. In fact, you could probably even 
if you get a good amount or if you get a nitrate filter, I bet you you could even uh, spread your water changes out further. I mean, nobody likes doing water changes, so that's a good thing. Uh, but that's basically the basics of it. I'll just go over it one more time. Like I said, this was just going to be a sh very short, very general video. Aerobic bacteria. Likes oxygen, likes water flow, uh, easy to grow, especially in fresh water. Uh, likes, or, or what it does is it takes ammonia, turns it. Now, now, now remember, obviously there's different types of it. Just like there's different types of anaerobic bacteria, there's different types of aerobic bacteria. Uh, you know, there's a type that turns ammonia into uh, nitrite, and then nitrite into nitrate. All right, that's the basics of it. But even then, there's different kinds of bacteria that do that that can grow in your tank naturally too. Then you got anaerobic bacteria, different types of that. Like a lot of the nitrate filters, you know, you have to add sugars and stuff like that to make it easier to grow and grow more of them while still maintaining a little bit higher of a flow. Um, but anyways, you know, they grow in the absence of oxygen. Uh, they don't like a whole lot of water flow because water flow is going to bring oxygen with it. Uh, they basically dissipate nitrate into a non-toxic form for fish. But of course nitrate, your fish can take quite a bit of nitrate. But it's still better to keep it down because like I said, you could probably even space your water changes a little bit further. Not a lot, but a little bit further uh, if you were able to uh, you know, filter out some nitrates. All right, so that's basically the, the general basis for it because I've been getting a lot of confusion on it. I've been getting a lot of questions about it and stuff like that, and I just kind of wanted to make it myself a little more clear, all right, J just so you kind of understand, all right, and uh, so just be looking forward to the C4 video. That's mainly why I put this one out, so... Because I'm gonna have the full C4 review, you know, it's almost it's been almost been a year here since I have been since I've had the C4, so I think I'm ready to do a uh, full review on it. So just be looking out for that. I've had a lot of requests for the final review. So all right, I guess that's about it. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, let me know. I will be making more uh, nitrogen cycle type videos, you know, to uh, kind of explain how that stuff works. All right. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for tuning in.